guys, I'm Queen Adele and this is Banky TV Update. Banky TV Update is where we give you the beans, the tea, the G's, whatever you want to call it. You know, what's going on in the community and in the city where you live. And of course, we're also going to talk about businesses and advertise upcoming events and shows in your community. First of all, guys, y'all know this song, right? No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Even when I'm with my boo, you know I'm crazy about you. Okay, it's Nelly and Ashanti. So Nelly, Ashanti, and Ashanti are allegedly or apparently back together. They are finally, you know, dating. I think so. I will say so. You know, that's what you know. Uh, I found out on People's Magazine. I mean, the People's News. Um, talked about how they were interviewed on Love and Hip Hop Rashida by Rashida and Kek and apparently they are dating and honestly I feel like it's not a news to me because I mean it's been years for if they're back together they deserve because that I, I feel like they deserve each other and guess what Nelly is 48 and Ashanti is 42 I mean it's a perfect age right mm, anyways Keep watching Banky TV updates. I'm going to be back. Welcome back. It's your girl, Queen Adele, and this is Banky TV updates. So, Vice President Kamala Harris had a house party over the weekend featuring performances from hip hop's pioneering star rap star so i have this magazine here that talked about 50 years of hip-hop so y'all need to get this it's amazing i'm not promoting for them though but hey if you guys want to know the history behind hip-hop get it okay so on saturday september 9th vice president kamala harris in collaboration with the recording academy and black music collective hosted a 50th anniversary celebration of hip-hop at the vice presidential abode in washington dc Harris delivered a speech honoring hip hop and the genre influence on popular culture. I feel like hip hop has been a long time coming. I mean, it's been around, it's been 50 years, and there's a lot of faces that you guys know that, um, you know, they're celebrating. And um, I feel like hip hop is still, it's still in for me. I mean, some of us are old school, like, where are my 90s? Y'all here? Okay, okay, 90s baby here, okay. So um, we still watch, you know, hip hop and it's still something, you know, that you need to follow. And for the Gen Z, y'all watching, y'all need to get in. You know some of the songs, right? I mean, there's a lot of songs from, um, you know, Ja Rule to, uh, uh, what's it called? Give me some names, y'all. Give me some names. Lil Kim. Guys, I mean, hip hop is the, it's the thing. It's the thing, like, back in the days. And I feel like it's still the hit right now. But hey. Guys, you guys know what's taking making the wave right now? Afro beats. Afro beats, yo, Afro beats is changing the game. But before we talk about Afro beat, we're gonna um quickly throw in a little promo for Afrima. So Afrima Awards is coming up the 10th anniversary Afrima Award. So the um Afrima Awards, right? This is Africa. The 10th edition of the African Music Magazine Awards, Afrima 2023 would be one of one for the books. I love that. Set to hold in Dallas, Texas on 17th of September, 2023. It promises to be the best and biggest award ceremony so far. So this year, the stellar fit of our amazing African artists will be celebrated as well as the illustrious world of African music the world over in the past decade right african is in vogue and african music has never been this in demand hence afrima remains committed to crossing boundaries with african music so guys afrima award is one to look look up to right or look forward to and um there's gonna be a lot of art artists uh, we're talking about burner boy with king promise oh my god ashake in the house it's gonna be dope like that's pretty dope that's pretty dope. Okay, so that's the, it's gonna be amazing. And I mean, for the for me, the, you y'all know I love hosting, right? So for me, the host, uh, I'm kind of excited about the host. So it's gonna be Nadia Nakia. You you guys know Nadia Nakia from um, what's the reality show on Netflix? And then of course, um, Nancy Seme is gonna be there. I mean, she's 
shit. I mean, she's that. Uh, I would say a Nigerian sweetheart right now, so everybody loves her. So, um, yeah, she's gonna be there. So, if y'all in town, if you're in Dallas, come through for Afrima. Banky TV holds down the red carpet. Y'all know how we do it. We're gonna be right there, okay? So, yeah, let's go back to the fact that Afrobeat is taking over. Afrobeat is taking over the music industry. I mean, we're we're coming up and it's, it, it, we're going places. I will say that. So first of all, Rema and Selena Gomez. Rema and Selena Gomez. They did it, guys. They did it. It's one for the book. I mean, come on, y'all. Like I was super excited for Rema and you know Selena Gomez. Rema especially, and um, you know. Uh, Rema said I've been rocking with her and it was a blessing to find out how she actually rocks with me You know the Nigerian performer tells people magazine. Okay, Rema. What is going on? So I feel like something is cooking. You know, y'all want to know some tea? Y'all want to hear some tea or you know, know what's going on? Okay, I'm interested. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying like come on Okay, you know, that's enough I'm not gonna say too much, okay? So we don't know if anything is coming up, but I mean, during the award, Rema really appreciated. I mean, one thing for me was Rema to um, the older generation, or would I, I don't wanna say that, but hey, the forefathers of Afrobeat, it talked about Fela Kuti, it talked about, you know, um, Davido, Don Jazzy, and all of that. So I love that though. I love it when, you know, the younger ones kind of pay homage. Is that what you call it? Or at least say thank you to the older generation. Okay. And then um, another thing that Rema said is, he said Calm Down, which was a song performed by Rema and Selena Gomez, did what it was supposed to do. And he said, I'm proud of, proud of it. So it did what it was supposed to do. Period. Yes, that song did it. I mean, that song is everything. So, hey, guys. Afrobeat going places, but keep watching Banky TV. We're here for all the Afrobeat, the tea, the entertainment, whatever you want to call it. Keep watching. Don't touch that thing. I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so back to promotions, back to promo, promo. I told you guys, Banky TV update is not just for the people that are interested in gossip. Yes. It's not just for the tea and the bees. We're also going to be promoting, you know, businesses and upcoming events in the Dallas community, Texas, and, you know, the world at large. So if you're in Atlanta, Canada, Australia, wherever you are, bring your business. We're going to promote you. Okay, so let's talk about past events just real quick, um, real quickly. Edo Charles Enter the Laughter. It was a good one. It was a good show. It was, I mean, Edo Charles always brings it, right? And this year he had RMD, RMD, um, you know, all the way from Nigeria, our main new movie star, right? It was the host of the event. It was a good one. And guess what? Every year, so Edo Charles um, is a comedian that hosts this major events where you know it does a lot of giveaways and we're talking about a car like really guys really really y'all need to get a car y'all want to get a car y'all need to go for the next year and tell the laughter it was a fun one it, it was packed and um i love it i love it love it love it well anyways back to Banky tv update let's talk about what happened recently with steve harvey and the wife so Shirley Strawberry, um, the co-host of the famous radio show, the Steve Harvey, Sh uh, Harvey Money Show. Shirley Strawberry, the co-host of the Steve Harvey Morning Show, told her husband, a soon-to-be husband, Ernesto Williams, in an October 2022 jail call. Ooh, something shady is going on. Okay. Okay. That Steve Harvey and the wife Marjorie Harvey had a luxurious lifestyle where people who worked for or with them did not have much. Okay, so is this real? Is this allegedly? Or what are we doing here? First of all, I'm not gonna say so much, but I just I I just think, you know, I mean, let them live their life, okay? Like, let them just be them, okay? Yeah, you can talk about your employer, your employee, your partner, but um, I honestly don't feel like the general public is, I mean, what do you want us to do about that, really? Like, excuse me. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, 
Marjorie Harvey, she said Marjorie Harvey looks at them as the help, you know, and it is it is what it is. So while Shirley Strawberry issued a Macopa on the matter of both Steve Harvey and his wife, the comedian on the other hand regretfully stated that when the phone call came out, it was a little bit different because it's not a gossip, it's not a rumor, okay? It's not malicious, it's not a malicious lie. It came from the inside circle because we are an inside circle. Okay, so what, what they're talking about is the fact that because it came from an inside circle, so it must be true. I mean, do we believe in that? Is that true? Is, I mean, are we supposed to rely on that? Yes, it might be true, it might not be true, but hey, I honestly would say, first of all, how did it get leaked out? It was a jail call. I mean, guys, are you guys, are you guys on this? Come closer, zoom in, zoom in, okay? Zoom in, are, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys hearing this? Like, it came from a jail call. So how are we supposed to, how was it leaked? Who leaked this? Camera, come on, can you zoom in? I need you to zoom in for real though. <laughs> oh my God. So it was, it was lit from the jail phone. So apparently someone in the house is interested in this tea and wanted the general public to hear about it. Okay, something which is going on, but hey, we're gonna leave that matter, okay? Um, we're just gonna, you know, go back to our people. Hey, my people, where are you guys? Back to Africa, back to Afrobit. Let's talk more on Afrobit. Keep watching Banky TV. I'm gonna be right back. Welcome back. This is Queen Adele. And we are still on Banky TV Update. So we talked about Bank TV updates not just for you know the tea, the beans, the spills, but also for promoting the businesses and upcoming events in the community. So let's talk about Helena Adele uh, Beauty for annual events coming up, um, true beauty events coming up on December the 16th. 2023 so you all need to go on eventbrite and get your ticket it promises to be amazing um it's gonna be a lot of fun we're talking about you know we have speakers raffle draw and this year um true beauty event during the true beauty event we're gonna be launching um the the beauty studio in Irving, texas so go on eventbrite and get your ticket and of course the ninth I'm a award coming up by Aladdin. Aladdin. Okay, Mommy's Planet is at it again. It's this year's ninth AMA Awards. It's gonna be super super exciting. There's gonna be a lot of people. I mean, I love the fact that you know there's an award to appreciate, you know, mothers and and um, you know, mothers and entrepreneurs who are doing great things in the community. So this is for Aladdin, it's gonna be amazing. And guys, watch out, we're gonna have a, a sit-down interview with him. For him to talk uh, more on the upcoming awards but yes um Elena is going to be there hosting a door is going to be hosting and of course i think the the nigerian mu music artist pasoma is going to be performing so for those of you guys that want to you know zumba and then you know all the come through for ama what is october the 6th and the 7th yes 6th and 7th of october and of course, it's in Arlington, Texas, okay? AMA Awards 2023, coming up, um, hosted by Aladdin. And of course, to wrap this this week's update up, um, let's talk about the event happening. It's not really an event, so, so it's called September Snapshots, hosted by Banky TV and Helena at the Beauty Studio. So for those of you, uh, those of you guys that wanna celebrate your birthday, and you know you wanna come do some photo shoots and get your makeup done, come forward, come through. It's almost free. It's totally free, okay? Like, totally almost free. It's just $100. Come get your photo shoot um, done and get your makeup done. So, hey, if you have a business out there, if you want to promote your business, if you want to promote your event, come through, uh, reach out to us, send an email to bankingentertainment at gmail.com. We're here for you. And of course, if you want to have a sit-down interview to talk about your events, your your business we're also here on we connect so 
send in those businesses tag me on instagram at queen adele and i am queen adele and of course you can also dm banky tv on instagram to get your business um you know a future okay so keep watching banky tv this is banky tv updates don't touch that now see you next week